Hockey fans rejoice. We are less than one week until the BSU women's hockey team plays their first game of the 2015-2016 campaign. And after winning a school record 21 games last season, expectations for this year's team are high. Last year was last year. That was head coach Jim Scanlon's message as soon as he entered the room. But last season has earned the BSU women's hockey team respect as they entered this one, sitting ninth in the USCHO.com preseason poll. It's nice, obviously. Certainly, uh, you know, you, you know, when you see your program in those polls, you know, as far as nationally, um, you know, it's, it certainly uh, feels good, but at the same time, it doesn't mean anything. The team is looking better and deeper than ever. The depth's been crazy now like our third lines competing with our first line fourth lines just right up there too anyone's interchangeable so whoever's playing good's gonna get out there and get a shot and after what he called the longest summer of his life Scanlon says it's great to be back to business it was nice to see him start coming back and a lot of them were back early August had a great off season in terms of their strength conditioning ever since we hit the ice it's just been a lot of fun they're, they're, they're working hard they're having fun and it's been enjoyable to go on the on the ice every day and the squad will look to lean on the leadership of their four senior captains, defenseman Ivana Bilic and forwards Hannah Mower, Stephanie Anderson, and Whitney Wyvoda. We're working all together, all four of us. You know, no one's higher or lower than, than the other person, and, um, you know, we get along really well. And our team's really good. I mean, we're out in practice, and we're just zooming around out there, and um, I, it makes me excited watching us in practice. So we have high hopes for the season. We're ready to go. BSU will get their season started this Friday at 7.07 p.m. against Robert Morris for their home opener. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.